well, mate. Six minutes. Cool. That's what the time says. Seven, actually. Four two, there. I've just always had that that drive and that kind of that passion there to race on the Sunday afternoon in that final. And so many things have to fall into place to to be able to race successfully for a whole season. Even on good seasons, you know, you pick up small injuries that you can sometimes get away with. As soon as the beeps go and you cross that start line, you're, you're on your own then, you know? It's down to, to willpower, it's down to you overcoming whatever pain you're in. I wasn't always there racing to, to win and racing to podium because sometimes, you know, you can barely hang onto a bike, you can barely pedal, you can't remember where you're going, but, you know, I would just always make it a point to be there and, and be pushing as hard as I can. I think I learned quite early on in, in my career that pushing the fear aside, you know, telling yourself that you weren't scared didn't really work because I was scared. The stuff that scares me now is the stuff where, where you kind of get taken out of the control of what you're doing. And when you're racing or, or doing time runs and you're pushing, you know, you're on the edge, but you're in control or, or close to it, you know. But sometimes something happens, it's, it's like someone kind of just plucks the control off you and you're just suddenly a bit of a passenger and that feeling you get, it like shoots into your stomach and you know it's, it's going to go wrong, but you're never sure how wrong if you know. The period of time after the crash when you're injured is the scarring moment, if you like. I think it's the emotional commitment that's, that's the hardest to deal with when you've prepped for a race season and suddenly it's, it's kind of snatched away from you through, through injury. You know, you get yourself into this whole mindset and suddenly you're still in that mindset, but ahead of you is a completely different path, you know. For me, getting over it is, has always been a matter of, of facing what happened, kind of making sense of it, seeing why it happened, and trying to get rid of it as soon as possible. You know, your mind's good at protecting your body, and if you've done something that bad, it will try and stop you from doing it again, you know. So you have to 